Raven Rutherford, owner of Blackbird Pies, is back in our Builder Source kitchen. And you know, Raven always puts her personal touch on pies and specialty cakes from old family recipes. Hi, Raven. Hello, Mickey. I love when you're here. And I love when you share whatever you can share, because if you know Raven, you know she doesn't share everything about those secrets. But you do share some. And you have brought a lot with you today. What'd you bring? Well, today we're kind of having a, kind of a a uh, Mexican cornbread slash tamale pie uh, with pinto beans and a salad. So this is like really a quick meal. It's it actually can be a one course meal. You really? don't even have to have salad. You can just have the you can put the beans in there. Well, so it's definitely probably, satisfying. So yeah. should we get started baking? Yes, you may as well. Okay. And then I'll talk a little bit about some of the other things you do. But first, tell us what you're going to do because I know this takes. Well, a bit. we have one cup of flour, okay. one cup of masa okay and one cup of white cornmeal okay three eggs three that eggs. i'm adding and two tablespoons of baking powder which i've already added in here all the powder's already in there yes and then to that mm -hmm. we're going to add two teaspoons of salt okay three tablespoons of sugar and then we're going to stir and I have to say, for now those you of you, who, well, for those people that are making milk. it home and they're saying, well, I don't know how long this will take, I'll tell you, even just prep time, in the, in the last, what, 10 minutes 10 maybe, minutes. 10, 15 minutes, yeah. she's already done all this. So it's really, it's a good meal when you come home from work and you have to cook for the kids, you can get this going Yes, pretty quickly. and to this we've added probably about a cup and a half of milk. Mm -hmm. So you're going to add your liquid sparingly because, and, and the other thing too is that this is a quick cornbread recipe for people who don't really know how to make cornbread, <laughs> like me. really just, <laughs> you know, you can just add two cups of cornmeal and two cups of flour. Oh. And then I kind of have milk here that has a little buttermilk oh, okay. mixed buttermilk. in it. Mm -hmm. That's where you get that flavor. Mm -hmm. Yes. Course. Now we we'll just stir this together. Okay. Now, Nikki, mm. you wanna, can you grab that uh, pan out of, the, out of the oven? Yes. For us? I will, I will. Got to make myself And then, because <laughs> actually what we're going to do, we're going to be layering on flavors. Okay, so just this hot pan? Yes, this hot pan. Nothing in it yet, it's just a hot pan. It's just a hot pan. You so want to get your pan hot. And actually, I should have put the uh, oil in there. So we're going to put a little bit of oil Regular in oil, there. vegetable oil? Vegetable oil. Okay. Actually, this is canola. Okay. And you just put maybe about, oh, a fourth of a cup in there. So we're going to pour that in there. Okay. And then, I'm going to pour hot. some of this in here because you need a little, you make cornbread, you have to have a little oil in it. Oh, Ordinarily, yes. you would put butter. Okay. Of course, you know I put butter in everything. I know you do. And, and then, I, love all, I love all your baking tips because that's the thing. A lot of people can cook, but they can't bake. Like that's myself. true. I have a brother. He's a he's a, a production chef, yeah. and he does not bake. <laughs> he, he hates baking. I'm now we're going to put half of this in our pan, half of our batter, okay. and we're going to hold the other mm -hmm. half back because what we're going to do is we're going to start to layer our flavors, oh. and then that's what the ground beef is for. Okay, so nice. you want to sprinkle this in there. This Sprinkle is, this in yeah, here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you get that in there. Just a little bit. You got it everywhere. Nikki, you got to sprinkle. Go. What are you doing? Oh, sprinkle with my <laughs> yeah. hands. All right. You got to get a little messy in the kitchen. I don't Nikki. mind. I sure, love that. Sure. That's my favorite thing. <laughs> gotta... I do. Oh, I always Nikki. keep. I always keep paper towels <laughs> handy because I do get super messy in the kitchen. Oh, do you? Oh now? gosh, this looks really good. So keep. Going, By the keep way, it layering. smells amazing too. And actually, what we have know. is we have about eight ounces of ground beef. To that, I've added New Mexico green chilies and chili mm. powder, onions, garlic. Mm. Uh, powder and salt and black pepper. I'm very much a neat freak, so you can see I'm trying for even yes. distribution. But you know, we're only, we got a short time. <laughs> <laughs> like you have to tell me, right? Because it's true. I have a problem with this. Okay. So, now, what so now we're in? adding, and actually, I love Rotel. Mm -hmm. I love Rotel because it makes such great flavor. And so we're oh, adding yeah. the Rotel, and you take the Rotel uh -huh. out of the can, and then you squeeze all the water out of it. You don't have time to uh, set it in the. Oh. Um, in the colander and let it drain out. Good idea. Then, now to that, now we're going to put another layer of flavor. Okay. We're going to add cheese. And actually, this is, this is Mexican cheese. Mm. Got to add some flavor flavor. With, with queso blanco. <gasps> Love it. So now we have, we add this on okay. there. Another that kind layer. Of, that kind of cheese I'll eat. And you know, and really, you could add your black beans. You could add mm. beans. You could add rice. Actually, you can add anything, anything you want. to this. You yes. can really customize it for your own taste. You really can. And That's you know true. what? And it's really a great. The kids love making this. When my children were small, I used to make it for them, and they love to make this because you know oh they God. can help 
you know, be helpful in the kitchen. Yeah. Now. Get them involved. Now we're adding. And then we add. That, and then we're going to pour the rest of our batter mm. on top of here. See, and I would have never thought of this. What a great idea. Oh my gosh, and it's so easy. It really is. To make. You would think the part with the, you know, baking and mixing it all up, you would think it would take so long. It doesn't take long at all. It really doesn't take long at all. I love it. Well, you know, for those who want all the wonderful, delicious treats that you make, they're going to want to contact you. How can they do that? They can call me 505-205-7735. Um, very, very simple. And of course, you can always get all everything from desserts to fabulous meals. Yes. And just real quickly, when you put that and in the oven, how long? And you're going to bake this in 375, anywhere from 35 to 40 minutes. Okay. Because you want to make certain that the cornbread is done just like a Good cake. Point. You have to make certain that it's no gooey exactly. in the middle. All right. And of course, through the magic of TV, we'll be back in a lot less than 40 minutes to taste. <laughs> Absolutely. It's food. Raven, yeah. another food in the kitchen with us. She was hustling, by the way. Uh huh. <laughs> Tell everybody what you've made for us. This this is our Mexican cornbread slash tamale pie oh. that we layered oh, earlier. This is a finished product. It's kind of, you know, it's sturdy. You can walk around with a serviette and bite and walk and mm. eat. So I've oh, served yeah. up some plates. So Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much, Raven. Oh, I awesome. can't wait. Okay, before <laughs> I have a mouthful, which I typically do, I want yeah. to mention that tomorrow on New Mexico Style, who do you think you are? Well, we'll tell you how to find out this weekend at the Family History and Genealogy Conference. And a new reason to hop aboard the Cumbre Citote. Fun. And Raven, you're a singer. You're performing, right? I am at the Madrid Blues Festival. <gasps> All right. So when is that? check when is it that? out. It's on Sunday. Starts at 2 o'clock. Nice. Until okay. 9. Oh, good. And how can we get more information? You can go to the New Mexico Blues Society web. Page. Oh, good. Yeah, okay. Check it out. And you'll All sing right, for us. Good. Listen, she can cook and she mm -hmm. can sing. It's a winning combination. All right, I'm going for it. Mm. That is so good. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm. That's always. <laughs> you know, I can't help myself. Mm. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. God, and, that's good. And you know, and the pinto beans are just real simple. Just mm -hmm. regular, mm -hmm. you know, so pinto easy. beans. Oh, there's a little kick to that. Yes, there is. <gasps> I just got the kick and just I like it. Just a little heat. Mm -hmm. I like it. <laughs> hey, it's New Mexico. I have a little heat. Absolutely. Oh, wait, if you don't, then the it's not New Mexico. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh, yeah, you can't lose with Raven. And you can't lose with us. You can always get more information on our show and any details that you need to know on our website at casa.com. So do yeah. it. Have a great day, everybody. We'll mm -hmm. see you tomorrow Thank morning you. right here at 9 a.m. <laughs> Happy Monday. Bye. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yum. This is oh, so good. Oh, yeah, I'm going to dress the dressing, too. Mm -hmm.